What's going on guys, it's Chris and we're back. Today I wanna to talk about a question someone sent me. You know, I see this in the Facebook groups all the time and in forums. My aquarium fish is swimming sideways or upside down. This is pretty a pretty crappy scenario because chances are you came up to your fish aquarium and uh, you see that your fish is upside down or like sideways or it really doesn't really matter the position of your fish. What's happening is something is wrong with your fish, right? This seems really simple. Um, it's not simple, but in the fact that, you know, there's something wrong with it. That's what's simple about it. You know, we have a lot of fish die around here and people commonly ask me that, you know, it's just like, well, do you deal with fish deaths? And the answer is yes, because uh, no matter what, when you have fish coming and going, you're going to deal with losing fish. And I know internet trolls might be like, well, you're not doing it right. Or you're not quarantining them. You're not treating them. Um, it, to be honest with you, this hobby, there's just a lot of fish are dying and there's really no way around it. Um, I'll be the first to say it. But anyways, let's 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 tiptoe into dissecting this topic of why your fish is swimming sideways or upside down. Chances are you came up to your aquarium and your fish is looking lethargic. Um, it just it's not in great shape. It's not swimming. Sometimes they're at the bottom. Sometimes they're at the top. The first thing I do, number one, is look at the the tank mates. You know how do the other fish look? You know this this tank has endlers in here, guppies, I think a beta, and a bunch of Coriodorus. So what I would do if the beta was looking sick, uh, which he does not, uh, but uh, we commonly deal with sick betas. You know uh, fin rot is super common. But anyways, what you do is you look at the tank mates. How are their friends looking? You know. If their friends look completely fine and they're swimming fine, chances are the water is fine. But if you notice that the other fish in the aquarium are also looking lethargic and sick or they're swimming sideways or upside down, chances are it's the water. And what I commonly see, the most uh, thing, the most common thing to happen in an aquarium where the sick get fish is the water parameters. The first thing you should test is the nitrates. If your nitrates are high, like past 30 parts per million or 40 parts per million, um, you're gonna have to figure something out and do a water change. Uh, if you, and next you wanna test ammonia. If you have ammonia in your aquariums, uh, chances are you have a cycling issue. You're then gonna wanna go on a deep dive and try to figure out all, you know, the whole nitrogen cycle, beneficial bacteria. It's a whole ordeal. If you want my honest opinion, if you're overly confused about the cycle, Go to your aquarium store or a local aquarist near you, another fish keeper in town, and try to buy a used sponge filter. This will jumpstart your cycle automatically. You know, I sell a lot of used sponge filters and it's because people can just throw them in a tank where they're having issues and it just automatically cycles it and like that pretty much fixes everything as far as cycling issues. Um, if you have nitrates, you just wanna do more water changes. Um, if you have, you know, obviously plants are going to consume nitrates and that's why I have so many plants because plants are mother nature's filter. And I don't deal with too many nitrates because I have so many plants. Actually, in a lot of my tanks, I find that we, uh, we don't have enough nitrates because the plants are just sucking it all in. And yeah, <sighs> deep breath. So, and I, and I gotta say, it's sucky when your fish gets sick, you know, um, it sucks, you know, like maybe you bought like a $20 Coriodorus that you're in love with and it's just like, man, this blows, you know, uh, my fish is sick. So the first things you want to do is, like I said, test your water. If the one fish is sick, look at its stomach. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird, but a lot of times these fish deal with swim bladder and a lot of times what happens is beginners feed too much. Um, start by starving your fish, AKA fasting them. And you know, uh, beta fish get like dropsy. Ha bad things happen when you overfeed your fish. I hate to say it. So try not to overfeed them. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, you know, when a lot of times if we've gotten to that level and the fish, you know, the finnage just looks very poor. It looks lethargic and something is wrong with it, like parasites or um, what else is there, funguses. What we try to do is we put it in a tank specifically for treating fish. And in the upstairs right here, it's on this rack down there. Um, it's dark. I try to keep my medication tanks dark because the fish are stressed and a lot of times almost dead. And what we treat with 
uh, we go over to the little rack of chemicals and we start treating with what we think it is. You know, a lot of times if it's fungal, we will go with like uh, Conoplex. This is a really popular one that we use all the time. It treats fungal and bacteria, fish disease, uh, dropsy, Popeye, fin tail rot. <sighs> but if I'm being honest with you, um, you know, sometimes we lose a lot of the fish that, you know, if it's just that far gone, we try to, we try to treat them, we lose a lot of them. And you got to know, especially if you bought your fish, fish from a big box chain store like Petco, PetSmart, uh, the fish just have a lot of illness. I hate to say it, it kind of sucks throwing them under the bus per se, but the fish are sick. So yeah, guys, um, we're really excited about it here because, uh, as you know, it looks really cool in here, but we're really excited about building up this porch in here. We did a cool paint scheme in here. It's kind of like green, two-tone with the white. And uh, we're gonna do fish tanks over here, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think in three 29-gallon tanks, or maybe four 29-gallon tanks. <sighs> I don't know, guys. The madness begins, and it never ends. So um, hopefully this helps answer some of your questions. Um, it kind of sucks. But it just, it is what it is when it comes to the sick fish. And I wish I could help you a little bit more, but I gave you pretty much all the information. Um, if your fish is swimming upside down or like on the side or floating, chances are uh, you have a water issue or you need to just remove the fish and treat them. You need to check on the other fish. <sighs> Hit up the comment section. I'll do my best. I know it kind of sucks talking about sick fish, um, but it is what it is. And this does happen in the hobby. So don't beat yourself up too much. It does happen. Have yourself a tremendous day and please like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fancy stuff. Hit up the comment section. I'll do my best to kind of help answer questions in this one. Talking about sick fish, it's always kind of like sketchy and I hate doing it, but I do get tons of questions regarding this. So I figured if I could do a video and I could just share it to people when they message me, um, that would help. So without further ado, I'm gonna start uh, working on this 55 gallon aquarium. We have some cool buck two tetras coming, uh, also known as exodons. They're kind of like mini piranhas. We're gonna do uh, a dirted aquarium in there, which is uh, sick. I don't know, it's really cool. So like keeping exodons, like these mini predators in a heavily planted aquarium. I think that's gonna be really cool. All right guys, I'm out of here. <laughs>